Rebecca Parson. Spell it for me. R e b e c c a p a r s o n. And what do you want your title to be? Media liaison. Okay. Yeah, so we entered the school this morning. Um, it became really urgent that we get permanent housing for the residents of the encampment that we helped move in. Uh, move in because uh, two people have died in the past week alone. One, uh, both with exposure. One was outside sitting in his wheelchair and a senior. And he died of exposure. And the night that he died, the uh, cold weather shelter in Tacoma was actually not open because the weather was not being inclement enough. So with those two deaths and the camp under constant threat of eviction, it became just really urgent for us to get into the building. And we're in here, uh, you know, the residents are excited and hopeful. And our primary demand is for the school district and the city of Tacoma to work together uh, to give this, um, put this building into a community land trust. So this was a serious move. This isn't uh, just uh, to get attention for the city to oh yeah no. find somewhere else or this is a yeah we plan on staying and uh you know they made an offer uh of 10 shelter beds in the inclement weather shelter but uh there are 30 people in the camp not 10 and what we need is permanent housing not housing for one um, and so that's just not a sufficient uh, offer and that was in response to this action uh, was then, that today yeah, anyone remaining they offered in the that building <laughs> And so what does it say that almost a century after the Great Depression, as we are on the precipice of probably another Great Depression, um, and in the middle of a pandemic to boot, um, you know, a century, almost a century later, we are in the same position. It's just a really an indictment of our housing system which exists solely to provide profit and not actually the housing. And again, th this is me just repeating what I was told in my emails and phone calls. This school has been um, vacant for 10 years. And in that 10 years, a lot of stuff has occurred, you know, just falling apart. And then it's unsafe. Does that, does that at all concern you that, that maybe officials aren't against working with you? Obviously they're talking to you, mm -hmm. but they're concerned that the building itself is a detriment to like housing individuals. Well, yeah, you know, we told the residents what the city was saying, and uh, one resident's response was, I would rather risk asbestos in there than freeze out in the cold and freeze to death. Yeah, so it's a cost-benefit analysis, and uh, it's worth the risk to the residents. How, how many, uh, so how many individuals are staying in there right now? Like, About 10. 10? Yeah. And do you know whose idea it was to either, I, I guess, I don't know, crack a lock or break a window? Uh, well, we, it was a team, Tacoma Housing Now, and we did it together. So the homeless outreach team uh, reached out to them, and we contacted uh, Tacoma Public Schools, obviously. And the building basically is not fit for human habitation. It is really unsafe. Parts of the um, roof have collapsed, the structure is not sound. We've had thieves in there before who have stripped the wiring, so there's exposed wires though the electricity is obviously shut off, um, water shut off. It's been determined that it is unsafe to be in there due to mold levels and possible asbestos levels. So even when T Tacoma School District employees go in, they have to use special respirators and it can only be in there for short amounts of time. So we're talking this building is not safe. So the homeless outreach team came by and started conversations and dialogue with the people inside and basically we're trying to find out who was in there, um, what their ages, sexes were, so they could provide them resources that would be available to them within the city. Um, a few people left and were able to talk to, however, um, it came to a point where they weren't coming out of the building. So officers in protective gear entered and are in the process still of clearing the building. When they make contact with people, they're giving these people a choice. You can leave voluntarily. We will help you get connected to services or you will be arrested for the burglary. So far, everyone has left voluntarily and we're hoping everyone leaves voluntarily. Our goal here is obviously not to make arrests. 
we want to ensure that everyone is out of this very unsafe building and that if they choose to um, take resources that we make sure they're aligned with those resources. Um, no, I don't at this time. I will be able to give you an update after the officers finish clearing the building. Housing is a human right! 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 No, there is a no arrest me. Housing is a human right! These people need their stuff back. They're Housing evicted. is a human They're right! They're being evicted. They've been Housing evicted. Housing is a human right! Already in the last two months. Housing is a human right! Housing is a human right! Housing is a human right! Yeah, get the fuck out of here! Housing is a human right! I'm just letting you know so you can make that decision. The police need to return their personal property. It is their legal right. They would rather watch them die outside. Two people have died outside in the last week. We are tired of it. And many more are going to die this winter because of this. We found that Food Not Bombs Tacoma found a dead person last week who died of exposure. Two weeks ago, the Puyallup tribe told these people who'd been evicted three times already that they were gonna get evicted again. So, I mean, these this building sounds like it's just full of mold and asbestos. I mean, is there like, like a compromise that you think that we could, you know, that the city could do? Well, for, for starters, mold and asbestos beats dying outside of exposure. And, and with rats. we told people going into the building that we knew there was asbestos in the building and they judged it worth the risk several times. Our colleagues over there had told us asbestos is a concern and they said, I'm tired of watching rats run over my stuff and fight on it. If the city is so concerned about the health and safety of these people, why don't we have housing? Why don't we have a place for people to go? And not tiny housing either. I'm not going to live in, a, in an area the size of my kitchen. They need actual real permanent housing without restrictions. Mm -hmm. 